Hi everybody, this is Tammy. Today I wanted to share with you the travel journal that I created using a the April kit from Scrapbooking With Me Boutique. There were two kits in April and the design team members um, got the chance to pick which kit they wanted to play with. So I selected the Authentique Abroad kit because um, last year I went um, to New York on vacation and I wanted to create a travel journal to document that trip. So um, let me share with you what I created and I will put a link to my video showing the contents of the um, April kit in the description box. So this is my travel journal and this took me so long to do. <laughs> this took me a little while to do because as you can see it's very rustic and it's not shabby at all. and. So I was a little bit out of my element, so it took me a little longer than my normal projects take me. But I love the way that it turned out, and there's so many different elements to it. Um, I wanted to do a travel journal, a traditional type travel journal, but it actually took on... It's like a mix between a travel journal and a mini album. So I did want the look of a journal, so I used paper bags. So I used four paper bags, and I alternated you know the bottoms and the top so that like every other page is the top and I could use that for tags and things um, and then you can see I did a lot of um, distressing and I used a ton of glimmer mist in this project I did a lot of masking I used a lot of metal pieces and a lot of distressing so in a in the true like travel journal style I bound it with um well the closure is some leather cording this is actual leather cording and then at the bottom it just has some um word beads and I'm not all that crazy about this I might change this out but um these are the Michaels word beads and um I just took from the um the elements pack that came with the collection I love this part because it has little words and then there's two pieces that have alphabets. So I took one of the words that said new and I put that and then I spelled York with the, alpha, the little black um, and white alphabet tiles. So that's that and that adds weight to this and this just wraps around like three or four times and then it just wraps underneath itself to hold itself in place. And I made it extra long so that once I start putting in all of my pictures and things like that, that um, it will it will be able to expand and one thing that I did is the last page in the album is a pocket and I have a Tim Holtz clip there and I use that clip to hold the cord while you know while the book is open so that was a pretty or or either I could just tuck it into this pocket but I like putting it holding it with the clip so that's there so here on the front I used two different pages from the collection and then this top page I um, wet it with some um, glimmer mist and pearl and then I crumbled it up and then I wet it again with some glimmer mist and gingerbread and then I, um, I dried it with my heat gun and then I went over it with some distress ink and vintage photo I believe and then um, dried it again and then um, I just put that on the peaks and then I sprayed it one more time with the uh, pearl glimmer mist and I'm not sure if my camera's picking it up but there's a lot of subtle um, glittering tones of the pearl and then also the um, the bronzy color of the gingerbread it's so pretty but it, I love how rustic it looks I wanted it to have the look of like an old world really worn journal and I think it does have that so these are some metal pieces that I had in my stash um, and this one I took this is my favorite souvenir from my trip this is a key that I purchased on um, at the Statue of Liberty on Ellis Island and I loved it because this part is really beautiful but then here there's a really pretty cityscape and it includes the Statue of Liberty in it so I will also put a link to the video that I did from my trip if you wanted to see that there's a lot of pictures and a lot of I sh at the end of the video I show a lot of the pictures that I took and those are the pictures that will be going into this um, this journal um, okay and then there's another me metal piece here and then I just offset it so you can still see the paper that's underneath so then when you open it the first page is the bottom of one of the paper bags so there's a little pocket here 
I have some tags. So this is a tag. I just sprayed it with um, two different colors of Glimmer Mist. And then actually burned on purpose <laughs> the tag here and then also down here to give it some more of that war old world, you know, worn look. And I actually burned this paper too, but it actually it kind of got covered up. I burned it right here. Um, I burned it some right here and a little bit right here. Um, and then this tag is two, two other colors of Glimmer Mist and I used some jute twine on the top. And then here is one of the papers from the collection and I did some masking with, um, with a um, molding paste and a Tim Holtz mask. And then this is a little paper clip that comes off but the tickets I, are glued down. Um, but the little paper clip I can still tuck little tickets or um, ephemera or receipts or whatever that I have underneath that paper clip. And then I can also tuck pictures and I can journal on the tags or also add pictures to the, these two tags. And then this page, this is one of my favorite pages from the collection with all the letters and the, um, the writing. These are some Making Memories um, tickets. Along with this, I have, <laughs> have kind of like a little obsession with these old um, Making Memories Vintage Findings collection kits. So I use this large kit travel, and you'll see a lot of that in this project as well. So here are two, uh, like, airmail envelopes. or I'm sorry, this is one airmail envelope. I sprayed that with some Glimmer Mist, and I also burned this with my heat gun here and here. And then there's a journaling spot here. So this page is strictly for journaling, so I can journal here, I can journal here, and even a little bit on the top. And this is a pocket, and I have a tag here in the pocket. So this is one of the papers from the collection. This part here is from a different page and I just cut that out as well as the little receipt is from a different page. These are some of the Making Memories stamps. And then this metal piece is also from Making Memories. And then on the back, um, I have a particular picture that I want to put on this page. So I didn't add anything because the picture is going to take up most of the page. Um, but the clip here, I only glued it down on the front so I can actually slip my photo underneath this piece here or you I can just glue it down on 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 top of it so um, that's the tag for that pocket and then there's also another little tag here this is just a manila tag that I sprayed with some glimmer mist I distressed the edges distressed ink the edges this is a Tim Holtz stamp and I did some um, frontage um, embossing enamel here and um, this is one of the stamps from the this was also in the kit and it's called the um, Authentic Stamp Blocks. So I used a lot of the stamp. You can see how many I used. <laughs> I used a lot of those. So that's one of the stamps. And then the back is, I also um, Glimmer Misted that. And that's just blank for me to journal on. And then I tied it. On some of the tags you'll see that I just tied it and I left the, the um, strings just standing up. And then the other others you'll see I tied it into like a little bow. So those and the pockets are pretty, you know, they're pretty large so I can put a lot of um, mementos in the pockets as well as the tags. So this is the next two pages and this one um, is a play on the back of this tag. It has this pretty brick pattern from the paper. So I made this to look as if there's holes in the paper and that I'm looking at the tag that's underneath. Um, then this is another page from the collection, and I just did a, um, a, a stamp, a mask, and some molding paste. And then here I kind of like flattened out the molding paste so that I can make a really large air area just to journal on. So I will be writing some journaling there. And then this is a wood piece, one of the wood veneers from the um, uh, the wood veneer packet that came. I believe it was Studio Calico, and it had like planes and bikes and uh, cars and boats so that's one of the little airplanes that was in that collection and then this is a um, a cardstock banner from the titles and phrases little ephemera pack that came with the kit and I just glued that down on the edges this, these little sunglasses are from my stash and this I created like a little band and this is just some cream cardstock that I just dressed ink the edges and I can put a photo there 
Um, and then here is one of the cutouts from one of the collection from one of the pages in the collection. I just distressed ink the edges and then put one of the little bolts and that tucks right underneath the band. And then this is an envelope with a tag in it. And here I did some more of the frontage, the embossing enamel. This is one of the there's another little ephemera pack called Circles and Scallops. And that's this little circle is from that. And there's one of the airplanes. And this is from um, another one of the cutouts from this same page here. And I just put that on there. And then this is a little Making Memories little metal piece. And that just tucks in there. So I can add actually a small photo here. Or I can use this all for journaling. And that also tucks underneath the band. And then this, I love this page. Um, these are some acrylic tags that I had in my stash and I embossed them with uh, Tim Holtz embossing folders this one is a ticket and then this one is like a collage so um, what I plan on doing with this is to take a photo and it'll be the back side of the photo will be white I'm just gonna put that against there and all the embossing will pop out a little bit so then when you turn it over you'll see the photo so I really love these and I, th I thought they were really cool so I just um, put some um, jute twine on the top of that as well. This is a bingo card from Michaels and in the middle I put one of the scallops and then one of the word little tags that says vacation. So it says family vacation and then here's a bunch of the Studio Calico wood veneer. So there's a boat, there's two bikes and then a little car and I just, I use some, um, some, um, Glimmer Mist on all of these, the, the, um, oh, what was that color? The Gingerbread. <laughs> gingerbread Glimmer Mist on all of these to color those up a little bit. And then these just tuck right behind the bingo card. And then on this page is strictly for just show, I guess. Um, this is another page from the collection. And I used a bunch of the little word tags. Explore the world, journey, fun, and trip. And then it says vacation. And then I used um, some embossing paste and a Prima mask that I purchased from the boutique. It's a clock mask to put these clocks on. And then this is a wood clock from Michaels. And this is another pocket page. So here in this pocket I have three tags. And they're clipped together with a Tim Holtz clip. So here's one that I distressed a lot. I sprayed it with some Glimmer Mist and... Um, distressed inked it and then I stamped it with a little camera and then it's a word that says adventure and I crumpled it up and put the jute twine on the top this one I also sprayed with some glimmer mist and then I stamped a bunch of the different stamps on here and then I just have this Tim Holtz tinsel twine as the topper and then on this tag this is strictly for like journaling on this side and then a photo on the back and I did a lot of the frontage embossing enamel on this one and distress inking on the edges but I didn't want to do a lot too much to this tag because these tags already had a lot of go a lot of things going on, and the the mini or this journal isn't like really. There's a lot of embellishments, but it's not like like overly embellished because I, I have a lot of photos and journaling that I want to put in it. So I mainly left a lot of spots for things like that, or included a lot of spots for things like that. So this next page here. This is two of the same envelope. One of them I turned it to the back and, and put up the flap. And then I glued a, another one right on top of it. And this is the front. But I left a pocket here that I could tuck tags in. These are some more Making Memories stamps. And then I did some embossing right here with some molding paste. And then in this I have some tags. Now this is a tag that I um, distressed inked. And then I used some um, Tim Holtz Crackle Paint in black soot. And it crackled some, not a whole lot, but it did crackle. There are a lot of thin crackles. And then right here, um, I heated it long enough that it started to bubble. And I like that for the texture, so I just left that there. And then I stamped it with a Stazon um, opaque white stamp. And then I also did that on the edge. And that tucks into the pocket. This is one of the... Um, one of the uh, titles and phrases so that just tucks in there as well and on all of these I can do some this one's really cool because I can journal in with a chalk paint with a chalk pen and then I can put a photo on the back 
and this one I can put a photo on the back as well and then this one these are fabric tags this one was brown and I wanted it to be a different color so I just added some um, Versamark and then I this is the frontage embossing enamel and then this one I just left plain and then these are some um, making memories metal pieces that I dangle from there so that just tucks into the pocket like that and on this page this is another pocket from the bottom of the the one of the bags and these are three tags in here and there's a lot of spot for journaling or I probably put a photo here and then tuck more photos in um, and this tag I made specifically for a particular picture that I have in mind and I did some um, masking with, a, with um, a stencil and some molding paste and then I sprayed it with, some, with a juniper uh, glimmer mist and then I'm going to put the photo like right here and then on the back I can journal with a sharpie and I think that's going to look really really nice and then on this one um, this is just a tag that I had in my stash and I just distressed ink the edges and that's good for a small photo and I can journal right here and then I can also journal on the back or put another photo and the same with this one so I love that page as well and now these pages um, I love the colors on these pages and these are two um, large tags I haven't decided on the photos that I'm gonna put on these so I just made these really large and I put these stickers on the bottom this one says treasure and this one says family photos and then on the back I put a light coating a really thin coating of mask of um, mask of um, molding paste um, and then I also sprayed it with the um, glimmer mist so that I can journal without the pattern from the paper you know interfering with my journaling so I did that but these will probably get cut down a little bit once I figure out the exact photos I'm going to use but they tuck right underneath this ribbon and this tag right here is actually from is some Prima packaging and I inverted it used the back I just distressed ink um, I did some um, glimmer misting and then distress inking on the edges. I put this metal piece here to help um, weight it down. But it was kind of like a, a ribbon slider because it had a slit here and a slit here. So I just weave the ribbon through there and then down the bottom and then I can use this for journaling. So I really love that. And then here's another one of the bingo cards from Michaels and I put one of the circles here and a brad from my stash. And here's some more of that same ribbon. And then that's just a pocket with another tag in it that I can journal and put a photo. <clears throat> and this is another pocket page and I love this tag there's actually two tags here so this one I use these metal pieces um, just to to be the pull to pull out the tag and the tag is pretty plain I just distressed ink the edges and then this one I put another one of those stickers on the bottom and that slips right into the pocket and then here's another little tag and I took the same metal piece but I folded it in half and then that's the pull for this tag. So they just tuck into the pocket. And then on this page, <clears throat> this is the back from the tag. So I try to use those same colors on these two pages or the same pattern on these two pages. And there's a page in the collection that just has a bunch of these like tags that you can cut out. So I did that. I cut one here and put that there. I ripped the paper and put some of this um, chicken wire paper here. And this is a canvas flower um, with some writing on it. And then I put a metal flower on top and then this really pretty leaf there. And then the leaf is only glued down on the bottom so I can tuck a lot of pictures underneath there. And I can also use this for journaling and put that like on top of the stack of pictures that I'm going to put in there. And now this part here, this is actually the paper bag and I just used a mask. Um, and some molding paste to put this honeycomb pattern which is the closest pattern that I had to uh, this chicken wire but I think it looks really nice and then here I ripped this again and put some of the red paper <coughs> excuse me and then here this that says Statue of Liberty this is from the um, packaging that the key came on so I use that as well and then these are some other little cutouts from the um, this one I think is from the stat blocks page 
and then these are from one of the papers in the collection and I just fussy cut those and glued those down and then here's another one of the wood veneers and the tags that I have for this page this is another one of the acrylic tags and I just stamped like five different stamps on here and tied it with the jute twine and then um, this one I love this one this is one of the scallops and then this is another one of the cutouts from that same page and I distressed the edges of the cutout and then distressed ink the edges of the tag and then that just all tucks in there and then this is the final page and um, one of the main sentiments in this collection is um, the world is a book and those who only read one page do not travel so I wanted to full um, I wanted to showcase that someplace so I put it on the last two pages of the collection and I just um, it's a long phrase so I just cut it and, and stacked it here and then cut this out here and then this I created used, I made this into a pocket here are some of the wood veneers the little bolts and I just distressed ink the bottoms to give it a different color and then here is some of the bikes and um, the two tags that I have one's just a a um, a, a manila tag and I distressed I glimmer misted it and also in two different colors of glimmer mist and then I also did some um, some um, distress ink on that and I love the colors it reminds me of the of an ocean really pretty and then um, here is one of the um, cutouts from the titles and phrases page and that just tucks in there and then there's jute twine on there and then the last pocket page this one says New York because um, that's what this whole trip that's where we went and um, these are from this page here that has the um, elements on it so it's these alphabet stickers here and I just use some um, distress ink to color them and also I use some of the pearl glimmer mist and then I just have the Tim Holtz clip that clips on top and that tucks into this page this last page here and then on the back, on the top of all of the paper, is a, a sentiment from Ernest Hemingway. And that says, um, It is good to have an end to journey toward, but it is the journey that matters in the end. So I love that. So I cut that off of one of the pages. I distressed inked the edges and glued it down. And then I glued this metal piece right above it. And that's all that I did to the back. So I just love this journal. And it... it has the exact feel that I was going for with the old world kind of worn um, journal that I wanted so I'm so happy with it so this is my the journal that I created for my trip to New York using the April kit the authentic abroad kit from scrapbooking with me boutique I will put links in the description box to the boutique to um, my video from my trip to New York and then also my video for the contents of the kit. So thank you so much everybody for watching. Please stop by the boutique not only for kits but they have plenty of other great products and they're getting in new products all the time um, and it's the, bo the boutique is fantastic. There's so many new things. I know they got some La La Land stamps in um, just a bunch of you know all the kind of goodies that you like to play with tools and everything they have them in the boutique so be sure to stop by and um, thank you so much everybody for watching and I hope you're all having a really great day bye